हेलो गाइस सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम आर सरल मैगजीन फॉर सोशियोलॉजी करंट अफेयर्स एंड हाउ सच इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर आर्टिकल्स कुड बी रिलेटेड टू सोशियोलॉजी सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच वी हैड इज लाइक यू ऑल माइट हैव हर्ड दैट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट आस्क्ड द सेंटर टू अलाउ वुमेन टू एनडीए ओके एंड व्हेन द सेंटर सेड दैट नो we will be allowing women in may 2022 the supreme court was no you have to allow women in the foregone november cycle okay which so this is how the things went on and uh, this definitely has somewhere led to empowerment of women wherever you get a topic regard to women empowerment or something with respect to women you can definitely add on to these aspects that women are allowed to nda now the idea is why this article is a sociologically important as we can relate to various aspects that why were women not allowed in nd earlier and besides other things what are the sociological reasons okay okay see there can be other reasons but what are sociological reasons that wow why women were not allowed so all these things are uh, a part of our syllabus and our syllabus is contained in paper 1 that is stratification and mobility that how dimensions of gender creates discrimination and stratification and another thing as we're talking about inclusion of women in nda which is an economic sector so here we will be talking that how women are now allowed into a more formal sector so we can relate it to our unit 7 that is work and economic life of formal and informal organizations besides that when we talk about sociological ideas with respect to the article given see why women were not allowed to get into nda earlier was were basically because of various reasons the very first thing is obviously the patriarchy patriarchy has been institutionalized okay it's not just a part of the family structure it's also passed part of the labor force it's a part of the economic structure as well so women were not allowed because they considered that women were mostly what a weaker section okay and they cannot be the one who would fight okay they were considered to be weaker as compared to men so as a result women were not allowed to participate in nda besides that various other biological factors like women uh, you know having uh, having uh, the tendency to reproduce okay women undergoing menstruation cycle so all these were considered to be inappropriate for a woman to join into nda besides that if you look into there are psychological factors obviously they believe that if woman fighter is allowed to fight she or he may be she may be captured okay and it may be possible that she is ill treated by the enemies okay and she is molested so all these ideas prevented earlier but now obviously uh, the supreme court's decision to include a woman in the nda is definitely welcome step and you can definitely mention in all your answers and even your essay papers of gs okay so you always find somewhere this you, you uh, women topics being very useful another topic that we have is education and social change so recently there's an article uh, which talked about samagra shiksha scheme okay you know samagra shiksha scheme which Uh, talks about inclusive education and how education should be quality education not education okay quality education should be given to each and every student again and also it talks about skill development and all the sector so recently this article talks about the idea that how we can definitely bring bring an improvement in the education sector how national education policy helps and how samag sikra sikra scheme to point o would be very helpful in it okay so in this article you will find various points and various schemes which you can write in your answers with respect to education education is an ever green topic i would say it's useful in essay it's useful in gs paper 1 it's useful in sociology and where not okay definitely you can use this article so why this article came in uh, you might have uh, listened to a video which was very famous Uh, and the woman, and the and she, I think she was a Kashmiri girl or somewhere, and she was like, you know, she was very burdened with that, and 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 she was requesting the prime minister that you know you should lessen the burden of the books etc. So from this idea, we come to know that education is not yet very joyful in our country. Education is still still considered to be a burdensome process. So the entire idea of samagra siksha, you know, scheme 2.0 is to infuse joy. Okay. 
at every stage of school learning that we should try to make education something that is physically socially emotionally and mentally leading to well being of children it is not just asking the student to complete assignments and submit but it is also leading to their mental health development making them emotionally stable okay so this is what the 2.0 version of samagra shiksha scheme does it focuses on how we can assess the foundation courses and this foundation courses uh, you know literacy is done through nipun scheme okay nipun bharat mission nipun bharat mission it it talks about foundational literacy and numeracy besides which is also a component of samagra shiksha scheme besides that it talks about inclusivity it talks about equity it talks about quality and standards see the main issue in india's education system is the quality okay and also the uh, the no, 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 and also not getting the quality teacher so all these has to be looked into okay besides that um, we are also focusing on capacity building technological integration has been an important idea after the covid 19 pandemic and because of this you will find various technological uh, technological of uh, you no know, schemes were taken up and various interventions were done like the diksha okay besides that e vidya prime ministers e vidya ict labs various other pedagogical reforms were taken and these all form a part of samagra shiksha abhiyan okay so this is how you can relate this article and you can definitely use it when you write in sociology besides that you can add, add the gender related interventions as as well that how samagra shiksha abhiyan also focuses and on making schools very gender sensitive it is trying to give extra additional fund for setting up kasturba gandhi balika vidyalayas okay and also having various vending machines for sanitary pads okay you might have heard about various schools giving free sanitary pads okay like in odisha we have the uh, khushi scheme and various other states have implemented so in this way you can definitely relate it to various sociological aspects and write in your answers so it's a part of our paper 1 uh, social change in modern society education and social change and a part of paper 2 illiteracy and disparities in education that what are the problems in our education system and how samagra shiksha scheme 2.0 can help us to you know deal with it okay so rest you can read definitely we have added to it Uh, so next topic is women and labor uh, so here it says that uh, there there was a report basically okay the report said that uh, there is an increase in female labor force okay but what was the hidden thing was that this labor force has increased in unpaid jobs like the household works okay and uh, the disguised unemployment all these undoubtedly there is an increase in female labor force but this increment is with respect to unpaid or so to say informal sector and not the formal sector so this is something that you can add on to your ideas that definitely there is a surge in female labor force participation as per the periodic labor force survey but this is not with respect to any paid job or formal sector it is with respect to mostly unpaid family works agriculture you know in india it is the females who constitute around 67 or something percentage of the agriculture workforce and you know most of them are disguised unemployed unemployment disguised unemployment is for example there's a field and we for this field we need only five workers but instead we are having 10 workers okay and these out, out of 10 workers there would be most of the females of the house so in a place where the things could be done by five worker it is being done by 10 workers and most of them are females so and they are not getting anything out of it okay they could if they could have done any other work they could have get paid so this is what is called as disguised unemployment so women are a part of this and there is also a feminization of labor which we see okay so this is it uh, and this is a part of our syllabus paper 1 certification and mobility dimensions of gender and also part of work and working economic life formal and informal organization of work so definitely you can use all this data that definitely there's a rise in female labor force but undoubtedly this is with respect to unpaid job once the female uh, empowerment could take place when there is a rise in paid employment okay 
so besides that if you have any queries or anything you can definitely connect to us you can connect us on the telegram channel that is sociology and social issues you can also mail us on the email id as mentioned here okay thank you